Hi everyone, my name is Philip McCormack and I'm the principal of Spurgeon's College. I want you to know that we have been praying for you and your family, that you are managing to stay safe and well during this coronavirus pandemic. You have all been in our thoughts and prayers. As you will know, I and my staff have recorded numerous videos so that all of our student body, individually and collectively, have been kept informed of every major decision made by the College, or our main validating bodies that directly affects the delivery of theological and counselling education. This video is for existing students on a theological programme or pathway who are expecting or planning to continue with their studies at Spurgeon's College, or prospective students who are anticipating commencing their studies with us in September 2020. As you will know, the College has invested significantly in its IT infrastructure and digital capacity over these last 18 months. While no institution was anticipating a pandemic like COVID-19, Spurgeon's was particularly well placed to move quickly and professionally to a virtual mode of theological delivery. The imaginative integration of our enhanced IT infrastructure with the Panopto video capture software, the use of virtual conferencing platforms like Zoom, enhanced e-resources such as Perlego, and our excellent virtual learning environment Moodle has meant that our offer was as good, in my opinion, as the best universities. As the United Kingdom starts to emerge from lockdown, guided by the best scientific advice, the College has had to consider the start to the new academic year, which will commence as planned in September 2020. I know that this new academic year is a critical issue for the whole higher education sector. Having considered current government guidance and the guidance provided by Public Health England, the College has taken the decision that the first semester of the academic year 2020-21 will be delivered virtually for theology students. It is possible that we might be able to resume normal delivery from January 2021. You are probably aware that the University of Manchester, among many other universities, has already made similar announcements. The college site in the first semester will be closed to theology students. We will issue guidance shortly to explain what this will mean practically for you as a student. We have taken this decision for a variety of reasons, but central was our belief that we can deliver an exceptionally high quality offer to all our theology students. Indeed, I am of the opinion that lecturing and professioning staff will be able to build upon the excellent practices they have developed and the practical experience they have gathered these past few months. I am confident that we will continue to offer a sector leading provision of excellence in higher education quality. In our student protection plan, in section 9.6, it says, and I quote, in certain circumstances, the college may need to make changes to the previously advertised course content, structure and or method of delivery of a course or individual modules offered after an applicant has accepted their offer or as an enrolled student progresses." End quote. In section 9.8 it says that, and I quote again, it is possible that as a result of this, substantial changes in the methods of delivery of a course, such as the timetable, location, number of classes, methods and timings of assessments are required. The College may make all reasonable efforts to minimise any adverse effect the change may have on students and will endeavour to consult with potentially affected students as early as possible where it is able to do so. Although the country, and indeed the world, 
is dealing with a global pandemic that has tragically resulted in the loss of hundreds of thousands of lives. The decision to deliver theological education virtually in the first semester of 2020 to 21 is nevertheless a substantial change in the mode of delivery. As a college, we wish to engage with students that will be affected by this decision and consult with student representatives on how the college can reasonably minimize the effect in the first semester. I will be reaching out to student representatives to have a virtual meeting. In the meantime, if you wish to discuss the implications of our decision to deliver our theological programs or pathways virtually in the first semester of 2020-21, please speak to your pastoral tutor in the first instance. I would like to reassure all of our student body that we did not come to this decision lightly, but after careful and thorough discussion. The staff of Spurgeon's College, professional and lecturing, are already working on implementing the best practice gathered from these past 10 weeks to ensure that our offer to all our students is of the very highest quality and meets all of the educational outcomes each student has a right to expect from one of the country's leading theological institutions. I look forward to the engagement with students in the incoming months and to welcoming a new student cohort, as well as our returning students this September in 2020. May the Lord, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, richly bless you all.